Hi, I'm Sifu Justinok, Chief Instructor here in Lakeland, Florida. I originally started in Shotokan and Kempo Karate and Taekwondo here in the States, and I got into some really bad and aggressive fight situations where the forms and the point sparring I was being taught just wasn't cutting it. So I started looking for an aggressive martial arts system that could deal with one or multiple attackers, even if you were a smaller guy like myself, and I just kept coming back to Wing Chun. It really came out of a necessity to protect myself and those that I care about. I've really been blessed to become a Sifu underneath two different masters in Wing Chun. My first teacher was underneath Ip Ching, Ip Chun, and Simon Lau, and my second teacher came from the Moyat lineage. He was also a ranger of the United States military and had trained in Muay Thai, as well as Jiu Jitsu and boxing, which gave a whole different perspective on how to use Wing Chun in a combative situation. I I started training Wing Chun in 1999, and honestly, I have been blessed to achieve an understanding and ability under such amazing instructors in this art. It's only ah, enough of this shit. Let me tell you exactly why. If you're in the Florida area, 100% you should train with Sifu Justin Ock. Number one, uh, I, I've i talked to Justin over the years. I'm going to say this first. Number one, uh, as I back this up a little bit, we're going to look at his... Um, his movement. This man's character in the Wing Chun community, it, it's second to none. Here's my background with Sifu Justin Ock from Wing Chun, uh, Lakeland Wing Chun. Uh, I started my Wing Chun in 1996, so around the same time that Justin did. Now, Justin and I, we have a parallel path. So Justin started under a man named Sifu Steve Lee Swift, who was under Simon Lau. Steve Lee Swift, he may, he parked this flag in Chicago. I don't know where Justin uh, uh, trained with him. I have to assume it was in Florida because I think Steve stops teaching in the uh, in the early '90s in the Chicago area. But Steve had or uh, Steve Lee Swift had two students at least that are two loose students that went on to create another path. Right, so follow my diagram here. He had Phil, Sifu Philip Nearing who was my Sifu, my second Sifu. First was Danny Halligan, then was uh, Phil Nearing, then was Sifu Syed Ahmad. He's my current Sifu and my last Sifu. And then a man named Dave Jeglin. Now, Dave taught privately and uh, went off in his way. Phil uh, still teaching out in the Chicago area, whatnot. Phil branched off into Ip Ching, Ip Chun, and Sam Kwok after spending his time with Steve Lee Swift. So when I went to Phil... I came from Danny. Danny stopped coming out from Iowa to teach us. Danny forwarded us over to Phil Nearing. And I got the the Chi Sao essence of Wing Chun, right? I came from the wrestling background. And when I saw the Chi Sao game in Wing Chun, I was like, this is fantastic. But there was some aggressive violence under Phil's teaching that I wasn't getting. I just was like, okay, whatever. Spent my time in uh, under, under Phil. And then I found Syed by accident. His si sister actually, uh, many, 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 many years ago, 2008, I believe, reached out to me on Facebook and said, hey, I see you teach Wing Chun. My brother teaches Wing Chun. And I said, I'd love to get together with him. I went, uh, Syed graciously invited me uh, to his uh, place. Uh, we had a conversation. We touched hands. And I went, Fuck. Holy shit. What I don't know about Wing Chun is a lot. The violent, aggressive Wing Chun that I knew existed, that I've been training from 1996 until 2008 and I didn't have, Syed had. Syed was under Dave Jeglin, who was under Steve Lee Swift. When I first saw uh, Sifu Justin Ox content, I went, I've seen those movements before. That's what I'm learning that's what I was teaching, being taught underneath Syed. That's what Simon Lau uh, 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 taught to his students. So it's not that Phil is without value. Uh, Phil does have a special place in my heart. Uh, Phil did teach me so much about the energetics of Wing Chun that is essential that so many other teachers just don't know about. But Phil did not teach us the Simon Lau, Steve Lee Swift Wing Chun. So getting back to uh, uh, Sifu Ak's character, when I first met Justin, he called me. Called me out of nowhere. I mean, I started my YouTube channel, so we're looking at 2011, 2012, uh, started doing whatever. He calls me, and we have a conversation, and my radar is already up because by this time, my, start, my presence started to grow, and people were looking to attach their flag, right? Plant their flag, say, hey, you know, um, if you say you're under me and blah, 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 I'll give you credibility. Syed was never like that. Uh, you know, it's just so I, I was like, no, I don't want this. Justin never did that. 
Justin, he, he recognized where I trained from. We talked about our lineage. We saw that we both had the same lineage, uh, as Justin says in this video. He came under Steve Lee Swift, who was under Simon Lau. Uh, in my opinion, from what I've seen, Justin severely surpassed, and I'm not trying to disrespect Steve Lee Swift or anybody who's ever trained in him. Justin, it went, he's gone to another level. Uh, and then he's under Mo Moyat. The only experience or exposure I ever have with Moyat is conversations online with Sifu Aaron uh, Vival. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. I don't have too much um, experience with that. But Justin's... Uh, Ability alone, we'll get to that in a second, uh, his character. He never sat there and said, hey, see what you're doing. I see that you're related. He never tried to steal me from Syed to gain me as a student. He never tried to leverage my YouTube channel, never tried to do any of that. The only thing he has ever done consistently over the years is say, hey, how are you? What's going on? Do you need anything from me? He is a class act. He even, when I had my gym, he mentored me. He gave me concepts. I'll tell you this. I was having a problem with new students uh, coming into the gym who were trying to test me and my skill level. And I'm going to give uh, 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 Sifu Justinok this credit. The problem I was having is guys would come in and they would want to spar and fight. And I would be. I was trying to be a little bit more humble and go, Hey, uh, you know, we just don't do that here, guys. If you want to come and show me what you know, great. I understand that. You want a, a sparring lesson, man, it's going to cost you this much money. And I would turn people away. When I told Justin about this and I said, man, I'm, I'm frustrated because I got these guys coming in and they're scoffing at Wing Chun. They're, they're going, that's a joke and your Wing Chun sucks, all this kind of stuff. And they're, you know, they're leaving. I go, I just, you know, I'm trying to be humble. I don't want to sit there and beat anybody up in class and that kind of stuff. I don't want my students to see that this is what we do. And he flat out tells me, he goes, you're an idiot. I go, what? He goes, my, some of my best students are guys who came in, doubted my ability, touched hands with me. They left with a cracked rib, a split lip, or a broken nose. And they went, holy shit, I want to learn this. Justin was the one who taught me. No one wants to learn from somebody they think they're better than. And I went, oh, my God. So Justin has been a mentor. He's been a friend. He's been a Sifu in many ways for me. And he's somebody that if you're in the Lakeland, Florida area, you 100% need to train with Justin Ock. His students speak for themselves. They're a bunch of class acts too. His students are not, in, in the Wing Chun community. You see a lot of people who are arrogant. Um, I mean, the, we, the uh, uh, what's his name? William Chung lineage itself. You see, those are the assholes out there, except for Shannon Moore. Shannon Moore has never been disrespectful whatsoever. That guy's always been a class act to me as far as I'm concerned. But when you got the guys out there, they like to start shit. Justin runs a, 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 a school, a facility. He's a proper good ambassador of Wing Chun. Now, let's take a look at his movements here. Let's take a look at some stuff of why this man is fucking phenomenal and he's deadly. Uh, and again, when I started to watch what he had done, he had done, and I started learning it under Syed, and my Wing Chun became aggressive and violent, and it was matched in with that close proximity space. When I had learned, what I learned, the foundation was under Danny Halligan. Kind of took my wrestling and went. This is the foundation for Wing Chun because Danny's sons or his son uh, was a wrestler, so he Danny knew how to deal with that. So it made me less afraid of how to close the gap in Wing Chun, right? Because if I'm a wrestler and I try to close the gap with a boxer, it's not going to happen, right? You got to you got to blindly go in and just you know get get eat a bunch of punches and then you know hopefully take them down. So I couldn't bridge that gap. Phil Phil taught me. Well, shit, this is where your wrestling lives in Wing Chun space. These are the energetics, the one hard, the one soft, the, the all, all this kind of stuff. Syed taught me, which Justin absolutely knows, fucking annihilate him. Aggressive, violent, just destroy anything in your fucking path, Wing Chun. So with my Wing Chun journey, you know, that's where my ego lies. There's not one fucking person who could touch me on the planet. That's my mentality. That's my mentality when it comes to Wing Chun because I've had several foundational layers poured for the, my Wing Chun building. My structure in Wing Chun, if you will, is just, it's so solid because of the men that I've trained under. If you look at Justin, watch Sifu Justin's movements here. His movements are tight, they're compact, they're explosive. Do you remember what I said in the last video? I want you to watch the last video where I talked about that beach ball energy recessed back. Watch Justin's explosive movement, why he is so good 
And I'm going to tell you, because I do it and I know it, so I'm endorsing him 100% without ever touching hands with him. I was in Lakeland, Florida a couple of years ago, 2020, and we, we missed each other. His school wasn't open at the time. I had to head back to Chicago. But if you watch Justin's movement, it's all about recovery, meaning most Wing Chun people that I've seen, my experience and exposure to, when they hit and it doesn't have the desired effect, meaning didn't knock anybody back, didn't knock anybody out, or they swung and they missed and there's on the air, it's recovery. When you move with that beach ball energy, and that's the way I want you to visualize it, right, that sunken back energy, you are in a perfect position to absorb the energy that is directed back into you and fire another fucking shot or 20, right? Watch Justin's movements. It's not just quick. Look at he. I mean, shit. Look at the look at the the in the out. The, he's got Yuma down pat. He is so tight. He's so explosive. He's fighting from his core. He's got phenomenal explosive elbow energy that is just derived from his dantian and his hips. You can't. You, you, this man knows exactly what Wing Chun lives within his uh, his own personal fighting ability. Now, again, Syed is not that very. He's not big onto YouTube. He never has been. Um, it's, I get the same stuff, right? Syed taught me. I teach the same. So this is this is my Wing Chun. If 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 there was ever somebody who was like a Wing Chun cousin of mine, it's it's, it's Sifu Justin Ock. End of story. His stuff lives lives in the violence of what our martial arts should be. And it's accompanied with a man, a Sifu, an ambassador, whose humility is phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to tell you flat out, I hear through the grapevine over the years what people say about me. I don't care what he says behind closed doors, but it's never gotten back to me. Justin Ock has never had anybody who has been under him not get back to me and say, oh, yes, he likes you. He talks about you all the time, or he says great things about you. He has never spoken shit about me at all. And he could evaluate my skill and disagree with it, but he's never fucking been public about it. So for, for Justin himself, he's just a class act. I can't speak enough about this man. But again, if you watch his stuff, you watch his content, he knows how, I mean, shit. This is our Wing Chun. That's that's called While You're in the Neighborhood. If you watch this again, watch this, goes forward, comes back. It, this is a brilliant sequence. You're going to watch. He's hitting, kicking, kneeing somebody back, pulling him back in, and giving him another elbow strike or, or, a, or a strike up the fucking face. This is called While You're in the Neighborhood. Boom, boom, boom. He's not letting anybody get away. Get out. Get over here. It's coming right back. It's great. I get jacked up, man. Whenever I watch uh, Justin's explosive stuff, I just, man, I love this stuff because that's what we do. This is what we do in our Wing Chun training. Um, what I like about him, too, is he is somebody who has run a school for years, and it's still open. It's still successful. It's still thriving. It is still 100% turning out fighters. Fighters. He's got the right mentality, too. He's trained. He's trained with uh, Wang Sheng Gun's lineage, too. I know he was in a, uh, some seminars that, uh, and he uh, he's not afraid to keep exploring himself. So, I mean, really short on this one today, this is my advocacy, my 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 uh, promotion and commercial for, if you will, Sifu uh, 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 Justin Ock. He's, he's just, he's a class act. He has real, real Wing Chun. It is just, yeah, yeah. I can't match his kicks. There's no way in hell. If Justin's ever going to kick my ass, it's going to be with his kicks, and he's going to wind up destroying the shit out of me. I'll tell you that one right there. Um, the guy is just top-notch, and his... Ah! Oh, dude, look at that! See, anytime I feel that, it's like, man, he's he's our, he's our, he's our fucking brother. Watch this elbow. Boom! Here he comes. Where is it at? Where is it? There it is! Oh, God! It's, you just get... You get Watching Justin, watching Syed, who I've had on uh, in the past, if you've ever seen the Raid or the Raid Redemption, um, that's what it reminds me of. I know, I know that was C lot in the movie, but that mentality, that explosive, that vi that violence, that lives in Sifu Justin uh, Oxa <laughs> Wing Chun. So if you're in uh, Lakeland, Florida, I know that Florida's got some other great guys. I'll probably talk about uh, Sifu Chris Damiano again, who comes from my lineage. Uh, he came under a fill again too. Uh, and then he went to Florida uh, after going underneath Sam Kwok and then ultimately Ip Ching. He's in Destin, Florida. I don't know if he's still around. But if you're in Lakeland, Florida area, which is on the west coast of Florida, and you're able to uh, train with Sifu Justin Ock, go in, open mind, go in humbly, go in with an empty fucking cup to learn. You will get 
so damn much out of this. This is uh, some of the best Wing Chun around. If there's if there's a veteran, you guys know I have a love affair with um, the uh, uh, Eamon Bostepi lineage, Kurth, Kurth, uh, Keith Kernspet lineage, and they've got that uh, very violent, you know, European uh, aggressive. This is this is just. You know, this is for us over here. Curtin Spett and Eamon Bostepi are bigger men. You know, I'm a shorter guy, 5'7". I have to think that uh, Justin's probably uh, taller than me, but he's still, uh, he's not six feet. Uh, this is what Wing Chun is always meant to me. Violence, explosiveness, recovery, Fan Sao or Fan Da while you're in the neighborhood and just fucking punish somebody, whoever decides to wind up uh, putting their hands on you. Again, Sifu Justin Ock, make sure you're following him on YouTube, show him some love, show him support, and that's that. Guys, hope you're appreciating and loving these uh, series on my reviews of these Sifus. They're great. You guys be safe out there, train hard, and as always, see you in the next video.